Hey everybody, welcome to Carolina Diggers. My name is Richard. On this episode, we're going to continue where we left off with the Blue GP Pointer Review. Um, we ran into some time restraints and figured there would be a better option to do a part two. In this review, it will be the Orange GP Pointer. Um, we do have a secondary test that we would like to include in part two. We have not started compiling it yet, so I don't know if we can put the second room, uh, air test in there or not. If we can't, we will then continue to part three, um, however long that will be. Anyway, with that being said, let's get this show on the road and continue where we left off. Shall we? With all that being said, that will be test number one on the lovely blue GP pointer. Um, my thoughts on the initial test for that one is the construction feels really neat. I mean, it feels the same. Well, weight wise, it feels pretty much the same. Pretty close. Now, if I pulled this out and I had a blindfold, I don't think I would know it except for that little metal piece right there. That, that piece right there is I don't know if that's cool or not. Um, I see myself jabbing me somehow with that. But uh, I don't know. I'll probably get, get used to it. Because you can stick that thing anything, anywhere you want to. I don't know. But uh, kind of neat. Let's uh, set these to the side here. And we're going to unbox the second one. Which what should I do? I guess we'll do this one which is unfortunately a GP pointer as well. I saw that little booger up there and I saw that was a, a different knockoff brand for a Garrett Carrot. And when I got it, I realized it said GP pointer right there, just like the other box. So um, let's open this box up and see what's inside. See if the contents are anything identical to the first one we opened up and we'll go from there. See you All right, guys. You got the box open. Um, I guess that's what cute, coint, coint. Maybe I don't know. I don't know what the Q word is, and um, which got Chinese. But uh, anyway, inside the box comes a lovely GB pointer. Mine's a little dirty, so. It's a little brighter than normal. Um, looks to be the same. The little dip that was in the other one is not in this one. It is a flat tip, just like the other one. Um, it does come with that little metal thingy on the on the back. Um, the speaker is kind of nifty. It's a different color, which I kind of I'm kind of digging on that. Um, still has a scraper. Still has the light. Um, as if it's got a battery in it. Um, no, so I'll we'll take the battery out of the other one and slide it in. And also, uh, oh, well, no, yep, no, no. Threads are a little different. Oh, wait a minute. This thing's got a little gasket on it. Look at there. This thing's got a little rubber gasket. All right, I can't get the thing. Where is the camera? Right there. Look at there. It's got a little rubber gasket right there. That will help seal off the water. That's kind of neat. <sighs> Look what I just found. It says it's a spy metal detector, which is kind of nifty. That was my daughter. She made a sound. Let's see if we can get All right, her. Guys, open it up. Took the battery out. <laughs> Energizer. No battery. We'll put it back on. And I was looking at this one. And this one, which is the other GP, the threads are different, if you can tell. The threads are completely different between the two. This one's got a little gap in it at the top. And this one doesn't. But this one actually has a little rubber seal right there. Right there. You can see it move, I think. Right? right. Can you see it? Right there. It's moving. So this has got I actually got a little rubber gasket. What I thought was a thread at the top was a rubber gasket. Which is kind of neat. And uh, this one says 
Oh, look at there. That says that same, whatever the crap that says. That one says G, Gwit. What does this one say? This one says something totally different. Gwit and, I don't know what that letter is. So, Gwit and whatever the other one is. But one says spy metal detector and one says pro metal detector. Crazy. You go with that one and you go with this one. So, we're going to put the pro metal detector with the little gasket on it. Now, this has got to make me look now because I don't know if the Garrett one has a gasket. I think it's just screws. Oh, no, no. It's got one as well. Right there. All right. Right there. Uh-oh. Here comes somebody. She's going to start yelling. I'll be right back. All right. Where were we? Um, we're going to take a look at the orange pin pointer by GP pointer. Put the battery in. See if it turns on. Yep. Turns on. Made a little vibrate. Cool. All right. Let's take a look and see what we have inside. Let me turn this off. All right. And as you can tell, pretty much the same thing is in the orange one. There is an owner's manual, an orange GP pointer, a nylon carrying case, and a little stretchy lanyard thingy, whatever that thing is called. I'm not exactly sure what that thing is called. But this one, for some reason, came with something special. Bam! A genuine Chinese knockoff battery. Yay! To go with your genuine knockoff orange pit pointer. All right, let's take a look and see what all is in st store with the instruction book. All right, the instruction manual. I'm going to hover over just a little bit. You want to hit pause or whatever and see if you can read that, you can. Um, basically, it has the same thing, battery cover, audio and vibrating alarms. I read they're both together on this one. That's power switch. It's an LED flashlight. There's a 360 side scan detection area. It has the exclusive scraping blade and the pin pointing tip. Pretty snifty. And the operating instructions if you'd like to pause there and read that. Let me back it up a little bit. There you go. Here's the back of the instructions. Let's go down here to the specifications. Looks like they're basically the same thing. The model number looks the same. The uh, operating frequency is the same and it has the same IP66 standards, which like the other one, we're not going to do. Um, and it also has the battery life of 30 hours with an alkaline battery. Um, it seems to be pretty well documented in how to do things. It even has a little wall search for stud finder and side scan and all that. So, uh, with all that being said, let's uh, check this little booger out and see what this one does compared to the blue one. All right, like before, we did that weird looking, that weird scan on the table and it found some hardware underneath the wood. We're going to try that with this one to see if it picks up anything as well. Let's give it a check and see. And yes, there's that one. And there's that one. One and two. So, yeah. You got both areas, just like the other one, just like the the Garrett pinpointer, and just like the blue pointer that the uh, the uh, GP pointer that uh, we tried at the uh, at first. So now we're getting everything lined up so we can give this one a go and see just where everything lies and falls on the ruler paper. Let's awesome. take a look. Like before. We used a blue pen for the blue one and a uh, red pen for the Garrett Pro Pointer. And for the orange GP Pointer, we're going to actually use a orange, if I can find it, there it is, orange Sharpie. So with that being said, 
All right. Let's take a look. Night before, the first target will be the dime. Is it on? No. Best thing to do is turn that booger on. There. She is on. And we're going to start around the same spot, around a three inch range. We're going to see where we hit. We'll sneak up, sneak up, sneak up, sneak up. So right there, the exact same spot as the Garrett. Pro pointer for a dime. All right, now we're gonna do the penny like before, 1993. We're gonna run her up. We're gonna see where we get. Hopefully we'll hit somewhere close to that one. Look at there. That is right there. Spot on where the line dot with the uh, two from the Garrett Pro Pointer. Now I got one that's a little higher and one that's not. So that one is spot on right now. All right, and here's the what my friend called the prison nickel. We'll give it a go. Start them off at the round, the same spot, three, four range. You know, let's not go hit it. Nope. Okay. Right there. Right there, there, there. Uh oh, got arm in that dang quarter. Okay, that was that little blue tick was where the dime was on the blue JP no GP pointer. So that is actually the nickel. So that's different altogether from what they were showing. And now is the quarter with the wonky back, the, the Chinese, I mean, the uh, Indian carvings, whatever it is, digger out thingies. I don't know what that thing is called. But anyway, let's take a look. Move it up, move it up. All right, that's really weird. Isn't that really weird? That picked up the quarter below where it picked up the penny, which is right there. One, two, three. Yeah, that's really odd. Okay, that shows you that the the orange, which is that one for the dime the one dot with the line penny the line with two dots is a nickel and for what other reason the quarter is below the penny huh. really odd and there you see two different gp pointers with two different readings on there really odd really 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 odd all right, hold the phone. We'll be right back. All right, back. boys and girls, just like I originally thought, this is going to be the end of part two. And yes, there will be a part three, and that will be the uh, second test I do because I've just got to check it again. It is to make sure it's not a fluke. So we do a second air test with just the blue GP pointer and the orange GP pointer just to make sure that both tests are accurate or close enough to being the same um, with that being said i hope you enjoy the video please like and subscribe um, this is uh like i said this is uh, a review uh, not only for you guys but for me as well i'm curious by nature so uh, uh, when you see me do these air tests and i stop um, that's my brain going whoa wait a minute what's going on here 
So with that being said, um, that's uh, end the video here, and then we'll pick up here in just a second with part three. Have a great day, guys, and thank you for watching.